Do you believe in God? Elon Musk's personal views on God and religion are as astounding as they are controversial. Actor Rain asked the outspoken billionaire whether he had a spiritual life when he interviewed him. In his response, Musk ended up addressing the big question of whether God exists. Check it out. Do you have a spiritual life? Well, it sort of depends on what spiritual means. Uh -huh. I mean, there certainly are things that we, we don't understand about the universe. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm less convinced that there's, say, um, some, some super consciousness watching over our every movement and kind of evaluating it against some criteria or deciding whether we're going to go to one place or another when we die. Mm -hmm. That's unlikely. Right. Rain continued to interview Musk on what he worships. From Elon Musk's response, it was clear that he was an agnostic, but not an atheist, as most people would think. As an agnostic, Musk neither believes nor disbelieves in God, since the existence of God cannot be proved. The physics guru only believes in facts and science. Listen to Musk's response in matters of worship. What do you worship? Well, I, I don't really worship anything, but I, I do devote myself to the advancement of humanity uh, using technology. And, and it does beg the question, if there is some super consciousness, super consciousness, where did the super consciousness come from? So I think the, the most likely explanation is uh, that uh, complexity evolved from simplicity. You know, that the simple elements over time combined to become more complex and mm -hmm. arrived at what we are. Mm -hmm. um, the tech genius made it clear in the interview that science and religion cannot coexist. The former economic student from University of Pennsylvania was probably borrowing from Karl Marx, a German economist who said that religion is the opium of the masses. The deeply religious reign was shocked to learn that Musk doesn't pray. Have a look. Can science and religion coexist? Probably not. Do you pray? I don't. I didn't even pray when I, when I almost died of malaria. Wow, that's really not praying. Right. You put your money where your bug spray was. Yeah. You're blowing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you deal with so much stuff. I mean, you deal with space travel and energy and the source of consciousness, and you're thinking about all of these giant life's big questions. What blows your mind? What gives you awe? Well, I think that, I mean, the, the nature of the universe uh, gives me awe, and, the, and just the the huge expanse of the, of the universe and uh, how far away things are and how big they are. The fact that there are things like supermassive black holes that are equal to a billion suns. You know. What about dark matter? Doesn't that freak you out too? Uh, yeah, and dark, dark matter um, is also, I mean, uh, dark matter and dark energy are, are, are kind of interesting because I, mean, I mean, I'm not sure what those actually are. You know, obviously people don't know what the no, those actually right. are, and it's particularly dark energy. In fact, you know, th that may be an argument for this being a simulation, because in a simulation, you, know, you can just make things be however you want. It, it, the, the laws don't all have to be consistent. Don't be deceived into believing that Musk is ignorant about religion. As a child, the boy Elon Musk attended an Anglican Sunday school and learned at a Jewish preschool. He probably knows more about the Bible and Christianity than most folks as seen in the following interview follow through. Okay, how many people have actually read the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> Fewer than probably say they have, but... Oh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> do you have I, I mean, at one point, I, I, you know, when I was a kid, I was like, I had this existential crisis and I was trying to figure out what's the meaning of life. And uh, I was like, oh, it all means nothing. It's all... And, and, I, and I, you know, read like a whole bunch of religious books, including the Bible. And I'm like, there was a bunch of things in there that I didn't teach you at Sunday school. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Dark. Um, yikes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, God sure changes his mind uh, <laughs> from the Old Testament to the New Testament. I'm like, whoa, that's yeah, pretty vengeful in the Old Testament. <laughs> I maybe we can have a chapter past Revelations. <laughs> but I, like, is there a happy ending here? Uh, like, uh, <laughs> um, Revelations part two, the happy ending? Uh, in the same interview, Musk was challenged as to whether he would accept Jesus as his personal savior. After evading the question for some time, Musk responded by saying that he would not mind being saved if Jesus has the powers to save. It would be quite a spectacle seeing Musk being baptized. We're wondering if you could do us a quick solid and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. <laughs> um, Personal Lord and Savior. It's a quick part. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but hey, if... Um, you know, if, if, if Jesus is, is uh, saving people, I mean, I, I, I would stand in his way, you know, like, they'll be sure. 
I'll be safe when I... Sweet, we did it. In the interview, Musk revealed that he accepted some of Jesus' teachings on love and forgiveness. However, the genius was quick to criticize how Jesus chose wine over water in a wedding. The interviewers were amazed at Elon's criticism on various biblical accounts. Have a look. I mean, let's just say, like, I agree with the principles that Jesus advocated. You know, there's some, some, there's great wisdom in what, in, in the teachings of, of Jesus, uh, and I agree with those teachings. And things like turn the other cheek are, are very important because as opposed to an eye for an eye. Um, an eye for an eye leaves everyone blind. So forgiveness, you know, is important and um, treating people as you would wish to be treated. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Very important. And, and like Jesus was obviously very pro alcohol. You know, because one of his miracles was turning water into wine. Yeah. And then there was like, they were having a party. They ran out of wine. <laughs> okay. And they're like, let's keep this banner going. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> who, 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 can, who can solve this problem? <laughs> we're out of white clothes. <laughs> Friggin' stores clothes. <laughs> and Jesus is like, I gotcha. <laughs> okay. Water, now wine. i like, party on. <laughs> so, you know. Accurate. <laughs> it is interesting how the SpaceX CEO understands rocket science but does not understand the origin of life. The genius explained to Dr. Crystal Dilworth of the efforts that he has made to help understand the existential crisis during the late night chat at Canadian Consul's residence in Los Angeles. Here's what Elon had to say. I had this like existential crisis when I was a kid. And, uh, and try to figure out what's it all about. And, kind of, and none of the books I read seemed to actually have a good answer. You know, so I said, I read all the religious texts and I read a bunch of philosophy books and they were quite depressing. Um, <laughs> um, actually, when I read uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I thought, oh, this is a pretty good one. Um, you know, just to sort of try to uh, gain greater enlightenment over time, that seems like a good goal. If we don't really know what the meaning of, the, of, of life is, um, but, or even really what the right questions are to ask, but if we can uh, improve our understanding of the universe, then eventually we can figure out what the right question to ask is, uh, you know, if it's not meaning of life, it's something, you know. Yeah. It really doesn't matter whether Elon Musk is a Jew, Christian, Muslim, or irreligious. The thing that matters is that Elon Musk is a good human who is focused on saving humans by making us a multi-planetary species. Elon cares so much for humanity that he would want them to continue living on Mars in case the Earth is destroyed. You may not agree with Musk on religion, but you must admire his selflessness for humanity. Do you think Elon Musk is right in his spiritual views? Kindly share your answer in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more interesting videos on Elon Musk, click on the video right above.